Is it Greece? No. Is it the French Riviera? No. Is it Turkey? Austria? Switzerland? Rome? No, it's all Yugoslavia, a fascinating blend of all that attracts the traveler to Europe. Yugoslavia, a land of 19 million people, lies south of Austria and east of Italy across the Adriatic. There is Belgrade, the capital. Zagreb, the second largest city. Sarajevo, where Europe meets the Orient. Dubrovnik, the gem of the Adriatic. These and more in a land as old as Greece and Troy. Three times this fortress city has been destroyed in the course of its long history. But it blooms and flourishes with all the vigor of its people. This is Belgrade, the capital of Yugoslavia in the heart of the Balkans, where the Sava River joins the Danube to make it blue and mighty. Belgrade's new air terminal, just a few hours from the USA by Jet Clipper. A city astonishingly new and immensely old. This was a town 500 years before the birth of Christ. Outdoor cafes suggest its leisurely pace. Tomorrow, says a national proverb, is wiser than today. Yugoslavia, a land slightly bigger than Great Britain, has been described as being masculine in character, strong, rugged, robust. Still, there are plenty of pretty girls. And both men and women share a national love for learning. They hunger for the written word, the adverse or the daily paper. men with portable scales make a typical street scene. If any single plant might say Yugoslavia, it is the humble pepper, paprika they call it, red, orange, and green. You see them everywhere. In Belgrade, the Tito Museum portrays the country's heroic past, and nearby stands the nation's memorial to its unknown soldiers. Yugoslavia proclaimed itself a nation in 1918. Its union of a half dozen kingdoms and territories made it at once the largest country in the Balkans.